once I pulled into the kennel and I had a lead dog attack a puppy. The puppies used to run free. Uh, there was no fences. It was beautiful. You could go on a sled dog ride and, and 25 puppies would follow you down the trail. It was an amazing thing. But because of the way dogs are disciplined there, there's an air of aggression. Just because of one person's presence, there's an air of aggression and all the dogs feed off of it. Well, we pulled into the kennel and my lead dog attacked a puppy in front of the guests. Well, once the guests left the yard, uh, Dan came over, he picked up the puppy and he set it in front of the dog that attacked it. And it attacked it again and he started hitting it with the chain. And he hit it with the chain until it dropped the puppy. The old puppy skirted off, Dan caught the puppy, brought it back, dropped it in front of the dog again. The dog attacked it again. He lit into the dog again. Just violent determination by the dog to be beaten so brutally twice with the chain. And the third time, still attack the puppy. The dog obviously uh, doesn't understand this form of discipline. Dogs don't swing chains at each other. They don't understand it. it they'll fight through a fight in order to feed off their food source. Do you see what I'm saying? Did you see this when he was doing this? Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody saw it. I, yeah. What was that like for you to see this? It was, it was heartbreaking to watch an animal be killed. I've hunted myself and I've killed things myself. But I've always eaten it, right? I wasn't gonna eat my lead dog that day. It was terrible. It was nothing short of bloodlust. It was murder. 